Hello, my geniuses. <laughs> Guess what? You wouldn't believe who I have to tell you about the power of education today. I know sometimes the pressure reaches you and you're wondering, you know, I see those musicians and they're making so much money. Some of them are not reading as well as I am reading. I see those athletes and they make all that money. Why should I get an education? Well, my geniuses, today I have a gem. I have a man from Jamaica. This young man knows about the power of education. He is young, gifted, and black. And I thought, who better should I invite on than Mr. Roshan Anthony Morgan to come and talk to my geniuses. Mr. Morgan, it's a pleasure having you on my program. How Thank are you, you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Katie. And the, the pleasure is mine to be here and to be a part of such great initiatives so that someone out there in society can get a better understanding as to who this Rasheen Morgan is or to who is this other um, trailblazer, right? Most of the times we read about uh, people like myself in, in, in books. We, we, we listen to them on the radio and we just imagine them by watching a cartoon. But today, live and direct, you have Rasheen Morgan here from the beautiful island of Jamaica in the cool, cool parish of, in the cool, cool parish of Manchester. Yes, I am so happy. Can you see my geniuses? Have you seen the smile on my face? Yes, I am in awe. I am going to jump right into it so that you can know more about Mr. Morgan and you can be empowered. So, Mr. Morgan, is it okay if I call you Roshan? I have no problem with that. Okay, <laughs> thank okay. you. And by the way, guys, though I wish that we were related, we are not, <laughs> not that I know of, okay? <laughs> you might be wondering, what is your earliest memory of school, Mr. Morgan? Wow, my earliest memory of school, uh, it's where it all started. Uh, the poorest infant school. I think I can have a lined up of all my teachers. In grade one, I would have had like a Miss, Ch a Miss Chambers. I would have had a Miss Lambert in, in class two. I would have had in class three, Mrs. X. And these were some teachers who really saw my foundation, who, who saw something in this little boy and really, really, really developed on it. And I can just tell you, moving on from infant school, I went into primary school, and that's where everything started for me. Everything, everything. My involvement in school sports, my involvement in speech and drama, my involvement in every little bit of activity that was a part of the school structure. Some persons would probably say, you know, everything, but it wasn't being in everything. It was being a part of everything. And uh, such being a part of everything from the inception days, it has really blossomed into who I become today. I give response to everything now in society. <laughs> wow. I could listen to you for the entire day without even asking a question. <laughs> <But> <laughs> what were you like as a child, Roshan? What were you like growing up? Were you well behaved and focused? The Roshan that I am looking at now, is this a Roshan that you worked years ago? Uh, you had a busybody Roshan. A Roshan that was little jittery. I was very uh, a hyperactive child, right? So I couldn't keep still. <laughs> yes. Uh, but it was a Russian that had discipline. It was a Russian that had good mannerism because growing up, I, my, my father was around, but uh, I was more connected with my mom and her side of the family, right? So with, with such development, I had to maintain the discipline. 
I will tell people that my mother made up where my father fall short. Uh, my mother was never, she, she, she never shone in, in saying that she was going against the biblical rules to spear the rod and spoil the, ch the child. Uh, she, she didn't do that. She wasn't hesitant as it relates to discipline, in, in, uh, discipline me uh, where and whenever. So, so I had to be on my P's and my Q's, right? Because as, as, as a boy, you think uh, she would have then admitted to the spoiling team. No, 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 no. She, 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 she slapped the black off me and then anointed with oil, right? And ensure that I maintain discipline and ensure that I maintain focus and be that gentleman that, that, that society requires to lead it one day. Wow. I am impressed. I like your mother. I like her more <laughs> standard. Typical that Jamaican is woman. That is good, mommy. So where <laughs> is she today? And how does she feel about your success? Oh, wow. My mom lives in the States. Yeah. Uh, she's, she's very, very pleased. And I must add, in the early years, when my mother had to, to, to leave and, and go and ensure that uh, was made for, for me, it, 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 it was a big sacrifice. But I can tell you, it, if one don't know, they, they, they would think my mother was a rogue. Yes. I, 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 I hold every development. I hold where I am today to, to my aunts who act as my shoulders. They, they, they really ensured that I excelled. They, they, they made up. They, 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 I was never shorten of love i was never short enough attention i was never short enough support yes. because they fall in no if my mom when my mom is around and my aunts are there uh she she will say uh i they they, they are why he's behaving like that <laughs> good because she she maintains discipline and and my aunt really just oiled and they just rubbed it in. They, yes. they, they cushioned me. If, if I was to say that uh, I'm a shared child, and a shared child meaning that all my aunts by my mother's side really ensured that my development was, was, was in good standing. Wow. Very, wow. very, very good standing. At the end of my program, you're going to call their names, Rasheen, because I want them to watch. They must. I might, I might break down in the process because uh, recently this year, I had to bury two of them. Oh, no. And it, 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 for me, I haven't even spoken much about it, but uh, it really took a toll emotionally on me as uh, when I reflect and, and, and look some of the things that I, they, they, how they would have molded my, 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 my development and not being able to fully enjoy or live to see the, where I am today. But I believe in guardian angels and I think that they are always watching and, and, and just protecting my pathway as I, as, I go, as I go on. But even in death, I still hold them to my heart, Roshin, definitely. Roshin, I have a confession to make, you know? I almost cried a while ago. And you know what mm -hmm. drove me? And mm -hmm. I would have, if I had to pay, I possibly would have paid just to get you on the program because there are not many men like you nowhere in the world. What caught my attention? Yes, you were in the paper because of your achievements, which we will get to further on in the program. Mm -hmm. But what mm -hmm. touched me is the fact that you're such a young man with such humility and love because I know you're speaking about Sadie's mother. And guys, yes. she is my colleague. And um, well, one of those, because your other aunt as well. I, I knew of her by the fact that she passed away. But I saw you at Sadie's mother's bedside. And you were there talking to her in her lowest state. You know, Definitely. encouraging her along, touching her. And I 
that just, it brought a lot of emotions to me because I have an only child and I would love for my child to be like you. I would love to get that attention if I get that sick that I saw you showing her. And that was what drove me to get you, not only because you're so educated, but because you're compassionate, you're kind, you're caring, you're what this world is lacking. And Mr. Morgan, I am so proud of you and honored to have you on my program. Thank you. And I must add, I did all these things through uh, um, regular working hours, regular community development hours. And they, they were days that I had to be out of the country. They were days that I, and, and, and upon my return, and I can tell you, she would know when I'm leaving and she would know when I return. And if there was a missed moment, the doctors or the nurses would call and I would just be right on spot because for me, I believe I wasn't, I, I was raised uh, to, to give life my all, to give life my best. Yeah. And when you look and, and see those persons who really teach you and, 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 and instill these principles in you, and when you look at them in their final stage, it, it really asks you to question life. But uh, in my mind, I know that I, I, I serve a God who, who, who give it and he take it life. And he, he, he wish, his wish for us is to give praises. And there's a song that says, I vow to praise you uh, through the good and through the bad. And these are some of the things that really kept me. And I must tell you that I, I have some very good friends. My, my, I call them my support line. And if it's sometimes it's a call, it's a text. And I can tell you, I'll be going through my moments, I'll be going through my days, and it doesn't affect my function at all. I'll get the worst of the worst news, I will deal with the day, and I will carry on in my duties. Wow. Until I find my moment, then I release myself. What an inspiration. My geniuses, this is Mr. Morgan, and I am telling you, it is through education. And if he did it, you can do it too. Mr. Morgan, tell us, did you get the school of your choice when you did the GSAT examination? <laughs> I did not. Honestly. I, I love I your honesty. I and did before, not. Before you even go <laughs> further, there are many kids out there that usually cry and they want to harm themselves when they're not given the school of their choice. What advice would you tell them? What would you tell me, them? Bloom where you're planted. Yes. That was just one line. Bloom yes. wherever you're planted. I, I remember when I did GSAT, I, I can safely say I wanted to go to Descartes. I, I wanted to go to Descartes College because for me, Descartes or Monroe was just those two schools that offered a good education. Yes. Right? And I remember, it's not like my grades weren't able to add up to go to DC. Yeah. But I remember my mom said to me, anywhere you work for, that's where you're going. And I was placed at Porous High School. Now, Porous High School then never had a name. Right? Yeah. Uh, Porous High School was just... You leave from one place and you go across the road to the school over there in the, in the street. And I can tell you, when I went Porous High around 2004, my group went there and we made a difference. Yeah. Uh, my, my, leadership, my leadership or my entrance to leadership started when I served as grade, grade seven uh, student leader. You'd have class monitors and class counselors. And I moved up the rank of, or within various leadership positions throughout high school. And I can be honest, they saw something in me at poorest high that I wouldn't have seen at all. Yes. And the school harnessed on such growth. They didn't let me go to waste. 
And I can tell you, I buckle down as a Jamaican parent would say, you, you buckle down and you get your work going. Yes. And I can tell you, upon grade 10, I was made prefect. Yeah. I ascended to the post in grade 11 as senior prefect. And I was also the deputy at Porus High School. Upon my graduation, I was awarded the Burt Mitchell Award for Leadership and Human Relations. Yes. I also you served as Mr. the... Mr. Morgan, please. Please repeat <laughs> it. I was awarded the Burt Mitchell Award for Leadership and Human Relations. This is an outstanding young man within the school who is, is, is renowned for leadership skills and leadership qualities. And this award is awarded to them with a cash prize as well uh, for them to, as a means of encouragement. Up until today when I go, in the, when I do my courtesy call at the school, I would see my, my, the trophy. I have my replica at home with me. And I would just look and, and, and see where I'm coming from. Yes. It, it, it's like when I go back there, I am I'm given a rock star treatment. <laughs> well, you're a kid, Mr. Bowman. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything better. <laughs> I'm given All a right. rock star treatment. So and, uh, that, that, that was just yes, and that was just it for me. Yes. I, I, I blossomed there now, and it was at that point in time, my community level within me expanded. Yes. And then from high school, I started serving my parish as the junior counselor. Wow. We would serve at the council level of the parish with, at, at the youth level. Yes. And I must also use this moment to say thanks to Mr. Vincent Copeland, who was the counselor then, who was singing me. Because everyone... Everyone that came into my life, they saw something. Yes. They were able to pick a heading and they were able to invest. Yes. Invest time, invest energy, and invest effort into what Rasheen Morgan will be yeah. at least five years from now, at least 10 years from now. Wow. Not going to say I wouldn't have had challenges. Yes. I've had challenges. Because in high school, grade 10, one of my most emotional things that could have ever happened to me was one, grade 9, I, I lost a prior warrior that's of an aunt. Yeah. She, was like the, 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 she was like our hideaway, right? And I, I, I lost her. And then moving into grade, grade, grade 10, about four months after, I, I lost my twin sisters. Uh oh. Yes. And you can understand experiencing these losses. Yes. And charting your way in student leadership, uh, being the Rashid. And I remember I was going one day and a teacher said to me, Rashid, I said, Yes, miss, it's okay to cry. Uh oh. You can cry. And I'm like, Jade, if you want to cry, no, it's fine with me. <laughs> and I remember, I remember I, I looked at her and I was like, mommy, I am trying to hold it together. Yes. And she extended her arms and she held me and she said, son, it's okay to cry. Mm -hmm. You make me want to cry and I'm not even joking. And I, 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 it took me a week to stop crying. <laughs> I, I, I was just literally sent home. I never, then, so, you see, sometimes I, persons would say I'm a teacher's pet. Yes. But I remember when, 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 as the great coordinator, she took a form and she signed and she said, uh, don't come back until you're ready. Yes. And this is a student. It's not a member of staff. Yes. And she said, don't come back until you are ready. Take a day or... Two. And this was like a, a Thursday. I can never forget. A Thursday. And I'm being sent home a Thursday because she looked deep within my soul and she observed that I was hurting. 
And my hurt was just beyond explanation. I couldn't explain myself. I was just going on and trying to please everybody. Yeah. And then she said to me, Roshin, it's okay to cry. Yes. And I remember I just took some days off at, from school. It was a Thursday, so I was out the Friday. And while being out the Friday, I, I got the weekend. And then I came back Monday and I was brand new and ready to work. Well, see, tears, tears is a release. It offered some form of release then. And I'm happy that Definitely. you cried because guess what? If you Definitely. didn't cry then, I wouldn't have the Roshane that I have in front of me right now. So mm -hmm. Roshane, mm -hmm. uh, what are the other accolades that you achieved at high school? Let's look at your high school graduation now. What was it like? Tell me about that day. Can I just tell you that uh, I never graduated from high school. Okay. I never because, and it wasn't that of any discipline challenges. Nah. Yeah. In, 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 in the year, I think it was 08, 08, 09, we had the swine flu outbreak. Oh. So while in the middle of graduation exercise, uh, we got a message that uh, students, graduation is off. <laughs> like seriously? Bad. Like, like seriously? Yeah. Why? Uh, the, the pandemic, uh, the swine flu and the government and the education system is trying to deal with it, it's yes. off. Yes. And I remember looking at the valedictory speech because I was a valedictorian for the class. Yes. And I went yes. home and I put together a profound speech. I can just I was so, imagine. I was so ready to stand in front of my year group and deliver, I call it the throne speech. Yes. Because when I'm through, the hats would have been off and would have tossed it in the air and we would have just had the closure to our graduation yes. service. Now, can you imagine being such preparation and, and with this disappointment? But yeah. let me say that my group members, we, we made up. Yes. Persons got enrolled in, in universities and, you know, Russian been the one encouraging persons to get go to university, get an education and start mm -hmm. studying. And... Roshan don't know where he's going yet. <laughs> well, tell me, where did you go? <laughs> but, but, but some of uh, where, uh, where I went, I went home. Yes. I went home. But Roshan, I saw I you with a paper home. graduating from tertiary institution. So how did you get there? I went After going no, home, what Let happened? me say this. Let me say this. I went home. Yes. And the home I went was that uh, I went home and I said to my mother that I, I want to go to college. Yes. I have to go to college. Yes. And I, I can simply say and, and, and note that I remember I, told, I turned to my other parent and I said, uh, I'm ready to go to college. And my, my, he looked at me and he said to me that, um, why are you going to go to college? Where are you going to go to college? Yeah. Go get a job. And I was like, I can't get a job with seven CXCs. Yes. I can't get a job that I'll feel comfortable in with seven CXCs. Yes. And I remember the day I was, I was standing outside Church Teachers College. And when I heard those words just saying, why are you going to school? Yeah. What are you going to college to do? Yes. I, I turned back and I went home. And I remember I, I, I laid in the bed and tears just came through one of my eyes. Yes. Literally just one of my eyes and just went on the pillow. And this happened like 10 o'clock in the morning, 10 a.m. in the morning. Yes. And when I recovered to my, to, to my, to my senses, it was like about three o'clock. And I was like, but me just lay down. Yeah. And it was like three going in the afternoon. And I said to myself, I'm not going to stay home. Yes. I cannot stay home. I then ventured. And let me just add, I got through to go to Case. 
upon graduating from college. By the way, that's my college, College of yes. Science and Education. Yes. I was there. I got, I got through, but guess what happened? I was like so much into my cloud. Yes. I was waiting for them to call. Didn't know that you had to call the institution to get back to them. Yes. So with this process now, I am out, I'm outside because I was already in an institution because I got to from the May yeah. just to start the process. And I remember at one point my mother said, I cannot al allow you to go to Portland yes. because you're my only child. Aww. And Portland and the damages that takes place in Portland when a hurricane comes, yeah. what will I do? And I was like, I don't know, but I could go to you. No, I cannot allow you to go to Kingston either. You know nobody in town. Yes. And with all these if and buts and maybe, I, I started feeling boxed. Yes. And I remember I applied for the police force. I, I had some challenges, but I got through. Wow. Because in everything, you'll, you'll, the Jamaican terms will tell you that in everything, you'll have a little broad, you'll have a little it, ups and downs. Yes. But I got through. And I, I didn't, I, 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 I'm good at interviews. Yes. I did very I well. Tell. Sometimes I don't even think. Sometimes yeah. I don't think that some places blame me because they say I'm too confident so yes. they can't give me a job. Yes. But I, I, I believe in bringing 100%. And if I'm going to be nervous about what I'm going to do within your establishment, I'm going to be nervous in my operations and I will not be able to make tough decisions. Yeah. So I, I braced myself. I, 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 I work on my confidence and sometimes I am very, very nervous. But I, you, you have to learn how to balance the equation. So I got through with the police force and I remember while applying for the police force and, and a university in Mandeville known as IUC, International University of the Caribbean, yes. they too had an application for me. And for some reason, I remember Dr. Webley was the program coordinator then. She said that something tapped in her spirit that she should reach out to me. Yes. And I remember one morning I was so desperate. I was so broken. I was so weak in faith. I was weak in spirit. I was weak in body. I was weak in mind and everything. And I remember I came out on the veranda and I said, God, anywhere call me today. Yes. Before 12 o'clock. Yes. I am going. <laughs> but I am not going to sit here today. Yes. And not be a part of the poor heart going into an institution. Yes. And I remember at 11.50 the morning, Whoa. I got a call Whoa. from IUC. So ordained for you to While I was there. ending the call with IUC, the Jamaica Constabulary Force called me. Oh. And I ended IUC, accepted IUC's offer because I yes. said to God, the first place that calls me, yes. that's where I'm going to answer to. And I remember telling the commander on the phone the day that I got accepted a while ago to university. Yes. And his response was, I have no problem with that, Mr. Morgan. Yes. We have no problem with that here at the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Yes. Because it's a four-year program that you're going to do. And we can start our training process or we can start something and still look forward in having you four years from now. Yes. Wearing one of the, wearing a, a very high level uniform. Wow! Because my interview would have, would have caused me to, to to move into some level of training that would have aspired some greatness for me. Yes. And that's where it 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 started. And I can tell you, when I started IUC, it was late October. Yes. Way into October, the first September, October, I can't remember, I think about October the 14th or October the 15th, I had photocopied information in my book. I went and I copied students' work. Yes. And I, the only thing I could have done was just coursework. So when I started a class, I had to do coursework instead of uh, 
I had to do coursework that students would have already completed yeah. through a teaching process. Yes. And I must add to say that uh, thankful that I would have had cousins like Sadie Warren and, and, and Nadine, her sister, yeah. who they would have been to the college system. So when they were doing their homework, yes. I was like behind them in the background, reading something, looking at something as if I was positioning myself for a day. Yeah. So when I go home with something that requires children literature, it popped in their mind. You remember the box that you were looking at, the book that you were, and the poem that I asked you to write? Yes. Yes. That is children literature. That's what you are going to do now for yourself. And don't think that because these work were available to me, yeah. I copied right. No, I didn't plagiarize. Yeah. I went ahead and I did mine on my own. Yes. Yes, Mr. I can tell you that, no, this is where the challenges unfolded. Being in university, uh, the financial challenge you have to, I had to think about, school fees. Yes. And I can tell you that it was hard. It was very hard with a single parent yeah. mom. My, my mom was there. I remember there were days that my mom would cry. And you'd, I would see her crying, but I wouldn't understand why she's crying. Yeah. And being moved by all these things, I had to make her proud. Because even Sadie's mother, I remember her words to me. And this was what Aunt Irene would say to me that, Rushi, you are the only child for your mother. Yeah. And you have to make her proud. Wow. You have to. And I remember when going to school, if I had the fear, I never had the lunch money. Yeah. And I had to like, I'll carry dinner to school. I'll, whatever I prepare on Sunday for dinner, I would, would cook enough that I would take it to school with me every day. And it will be the same meal that I'm coming home to eat in the night. There were, there were a lot of sacrifices that, 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 that she made. Yes. So that where I am today, I, I can smile with that beam of hope. I can smile with joy to know that my, 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 my mother was like my tower of strength. When I tell people that my foundation was set, I respect females so much. Yes. Not that Thank I disrespect you. males, yes. but I respect females so much because I feel the strength of the women in my society when I needed them the most. Yes. And this was just my university days, the beginning. And I remember I... I did my exam the December. Remember, I started late October, mm -hmm. photocopied work, and had exam December. When I did my exams, I remember Dr. Webley called me in her office the morning, and the results came, and she said, I want you to write something and explain to me why you started this institution late. Yeah. And I went home and I wrote, I think, I don't remember if it was a page and a half. Yeah. Or I wrote, but I, I just started writing. Yes. And when I presented the document to her, she looked down, she looked at me, and tears came out of her eyes. Yeah. And I said to her that, you asked, and I'm telling you, about a week after she, no, she said to me the same morning that your test grades are in and I cannot believe when I compared what you put on this paper and the grades, how you did it. I did what? Yeah. She said, you ace all your first year courses. 
Wow. And I can only tell you this now that the document you gave me a few days ago, I have submitted to the tertiary body of this institution, the scholarship body of this institution, and you are granted a four year scholarship to complete Whoa. your studies. Wow. No, I can tell you that words was when, when I when I went home. Yes, when I went home, I said to my mom, scholarship. Yes. And they were giving out some scholarship to the male students within the institution who did exceptionally well. Yes. And I remember she held up and she said, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Because she would have just been a first termer. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember with that scholarship, I never looked back. Whoa. I went straight into the four years of my study yeah. and I completed a four-year study in three years. Wow. And at the end, what did, what did you achieve at the end? What are the accolades? I, I achieved, while there also, I got involved in, 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 in institutional duties, yes. but I achieved a bachelor's. A bat, my, I, did my, I got my bachelor's of, in education, yes. in primary education. Yeah. And I got my B.Ed., yeah. right? Yes. Beautiful. And I didn't hear that. Beautiful. Yes. And, and that's where it started. I remember I used to volunteer at institutions. Yes. Right? And upon volunteering at one particular institution, they called me to say uh, if I want a job to work there. Yes. And yes. And I remember 2015, I started working there. Yes. And uh, I, I just blossomed from there into the teaching profession. Yes. Mr. Morgan, mm -hmm. I hate to venture there, but I have to because you're so involved. Not only mm -hmm. are you great at academics, but I saw mm -hmm. your involvement into politics, especially mm -hmm. Recently, when you campaigned against Mr. You were the campaign manager for Mr. Robert Chin, who yes. was, um, <laughs> yes, I was. was competing against Mr. Michael Stewart of the PM. Former principal. Guys, <laughs> your former principal. He was my oh, former no. principal. He should give you a whopping Mr. Morgan. Rush it was the and, other way around. <laughs> and tell that I am a PNP, you know? I sh let me tell you something. When we <laughs> lost the election, I yes. cried. I didn't oh, eat wow. for days. I wow, took gosh. it. I was yes, and I am not lying. Even my friends, I haven't spoken to them until now because it affected <laughs> me so badly. So you must know the power of education for me. How much I admire you for me here having this interview with you, considering that you're one of those persons responsible for honor. taking away one of our. It's seats. an honor. It's an honor. It's an honor. <laughs> so tell me, after that big campaign, and you be campaign manager what is next for you Roshin? Uh, what is next for Roshin? Uh, for me Roshin, Roshin Morgan is 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 an optimistic person right and over the years I've been placed in areas and I've learned to blossom where yes. I'm planting yeah right uh, Roshin is one individual I don't like to be sectioned yes right I love to have the opportunity and I think my, my personality and how I studied over the years yes. uh, uh, created a, a, a character that anywhere I'm placed, any task that I'm given, I am not just expected, but I will execute and I will give it my all and give it my best. What right? Motivates? I'll continue to, I didn't hear. What motivates you? Honestly, Roshin motivates Roshin. Yes. I, I believe that, and it, it, it can, most persons will ask me who is my biggest inspiration. Yes. But my biggest inspiration is Roshin Anthony Morgan. Wow. Right? 
Yeah. Rasheen Anthony Morgan uh, never lets down Rasheen. Yeah. Yes, never disappoint Rasheen. I'm always there for myself and I always try to ensure that I achieve and I acquire that which I'm set out to do. And I don't believe in unfinished tasks. Wow. What has, no. been, what has been your greatest challenge and how did you overcome it? Wow. My greatest challenge. Hmm. Wow. Was it the election? My greatest, <laughs> my greatest challenge. Hmm. Yeah. I've had many challenges in life. Yeah. I've never probably went to the point. I think my greatest was challenge. Of your twin sister? What was it? Rochelle? No, that honestly, that wasn't my greatest challenge at all. So low that you thought you wouldn't come out of it. I think my greatest challenge was the month of February. Yes. The month of February, and then skipping February and jumping into into me. Yeah. Those two months were my greatest challenge. Uh, and I, 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 at no point thought that I would have really overcome. I went to the, I went to my lowest points, but I had to be strong for my family yeah. because the, I, I don't know, but, and you probably hear that I am like the center and then everybody falls around me. Yes, I've heard about right? you. I've heard about you. It's like I knew you before. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually just talking to you. Because I know you so, through Sadie. <laughs> yes. So with, with, with dealing with the passing of, of, of Sadie's mom, that's Irene yeah. Williams Warren, uh, that was a challenge for me. And then trying to and with the pandemic and and trying to communicate and maintain order and maintain structure because it's it's now family and family is going to look at me and tell me that you must be able to do some things good and you must be able to carry out some duties and in the midst of everything i i, I lost another on and it was like one was the left, one was the right. Yes. In 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 where, where everyone played their own respective role, right? And when 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 I lost Aunt Irene and then I lost Auntie Rose, and I can say to you that this is the first platform that I'm basically sitting on and 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 openly talking about them. Yes. Thank you. I felt like my life has had ended. Yeah. I felt as if I, this is it. All that I have worked for, everything, I was ready to give up. I was, I was out of, I was out of it. Very, very out of it. I, 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 I couldn't look. I, 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 there was, I, I couldn't explain my feelings. When I get up, persons will ask me, how are you doing today? I am surviving. Yes. Yes. And I can say to you that from the day I left both burial sites, yeah. I have not developed the courage to go back. Yes. Can because you? I haven't touched that side of my therapy as yet. Yeah. Yeah. I am healing, but uh, I am not ready to accept. Okay. I, I know they are not around me. And the greatest part, most of all, is like when I finished everything during the, at, at a weekend or in the days, and I had my, like, my, 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 my different days as to when I'll go and visit. And on those particular days when I'm not doing anything, not going to, the, to do the visit, it breaks me. Yeah. It, it 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 hurts. I I I I I don't I don't cry to express it during this time, yeah. but uh, I I am I am I internalize it, but but I continue to just live by the memories. So those were like that was like my greatest 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 challenge yeah. on a whole. 
that I have experienced in my 28 years on earth. Yes. Okay. Thank you for telling me your age. I didn't want to ask because I didn't want to go there, but thank you. <laughs> if you mention your age, for my geniuses out there, are you single, Rashid? <laughs> um, all right. Uh, I have to be honest here now. <sighs> <laughs> Tell me. If you're not married, you're single. And I really don't want to affect a paper process now to say, yes, I'm single or I'm not single or I'm, 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 I'm there. But I, I have, I, my significant, I have a significant other. Okay. I have a significant other. Okay. And she's nice. Yes. She's, she's, she's very supportive. Yes. Uh, and I can say she's in the shadows. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why. I, 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 they normally say persons who are out there in society normally keep home safe. Yes. But uh, she's nice. Okay. Beautiful. She's she's she's, she's nice. Okay. <laughs> yes. Be. Yes. I yes I have. Yes I have. Yes okay. I have. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. If you didn't have, I guarantee that your phone would be blowing up. Your Facebook <laughs> everywhere My, after uh, the can I can I can I just say to you that uh, yes. that doesn't stop. Yes. That doesn't that doesn't yes. stop. I didn't but I'm in the middle. I can also. I can safe I can safely say I'm in the middle of understanding. I'm in the middle yes. of courtship, getting to know because yes. I have basically moved on from an eight years relationship. Wow. So I am I'm we, we, we're, we're we're just getting to understand. So yes. the foundation to say we're fully zoomed into a relationship that yes. hasn't been ticked as yet because there are yes. certain things that we have to deal with. Yes. But uh, I'm, I'm in a transition phase. Okay. Um, we're getting to know each other. We, we haven't gone to the level where we decide to meet parents and, 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 and so forth. But we're getting to understand us. Okay. We're getting to know us. Because at the end of the day, uh, we, we, we have to build that circle of where we know each other, we understand each other, because none of us want to make any mistake. True. Right? True. Yes. So there might be a little opening, <laughs> yes, to get to know somebody else and understand somebody else, right? And you'll never know. <laughs> okay. For somebody looking on, <laughs> Rashid, Tell them, why is it that education is so powerful? Yes, they've heard your story and they see you, but mm -hmm. just in case they didn't get that summary, tell them, why is it that there is power in education? Let me, let me, just, let me just add this. Power comes in education because being educated, you become self, you become independent. Yes. You, you, you don't rely on anyone. Yes. Right, you you create your you, you make your own decisions, right? Uh, for and, and when I look in society today, as for persons who are, are, are a part of the uneducated statistics, you observe how these persons sit and wait for a handing out process. True. You observe how these persons don't know how to make decisions of their own. I'll tell people that I've been making decisions for myself from as as early as eighteen years yeah. old. Yeah. Right. And I knew that I that in life, I must have wanted to reach a particular goal. Yeah. Right. Because of my education, because of my thrust for education, I have traveled to different countries. Right. So I have I have had discussions and I have had meetings with ambassadors. I have had meetings with senators yeah. and other government officials. Sometimes I might just be on a simple vacation but uh, once i stepped within another soil right or i have landed on another soil i pop up on the system i am noted to be there a call comes uh -oh. to my phone and two or three days after i am within a courtesy call i told you that he was great <laughs> if you're not great you're not featured on my program i told you he's very <laughs> you don't want to tell you but i'm happy that it's coming up <laughs> because this man is powerful <laughs> he is powerful because of education Rashid, 
it is my absolute pleasure having you. What are your final, final words? And of course, I want you to call names. All those people who have impacted your life. I want I might, you to come and watch this. Can, I, can I just say, yes, go can ahead. I just say, I, I might get into trouble, but uh, I, I would really want to add that um, my older cousins are, they will never get the cousin status from me. Yes. They are my brothers and, and my sisters. Yes. And uh, you already know Sadie. Yes. You, you know, you, you familiarize yourself with Sadie's sister Nadine. Yes. Uh, there's an Adrien. And wow, there's an Adrien. I, you'll have Elizabeth. Yeah. You'll have Kenneth. Who, Kenneth is like my, he's, he goes by the name Neil. He's yeah. like my, 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 my older Tuggis brother. Yes. Who you, there has to be a tug, and he'll tell them that I'm the tug, and 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 he's the he's a smart saint. <laughs> that yes. that's that's how. But honestly, I must talk about my my good old auntie Pinky. Yeah. Right. I I must give commendation to my mother Taslin. Right. And it, it, it they always say it's better to be late than never. But I must give respect and credence to my father Patrick. Yeah. Right. And. There are some spiritual leaders that, that I have in my life. I must talk of no other than uh, my, my he, 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 he's, he's, he, he, he stands the ground of, of a father figure. He has been there as an uncle, and that's like uh, Dr. Mullins, Dr. Dudley Mullins. Yes. Uh, I have had my cousin living in the state. His name is Bishop O'Neill Williams, right? And, and these are some other persons who really... Uh, created that level of, 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 of safe haven for me. How could I forget my good old auntie, Audrey, Audrey, who, Audrey Williams, right? Auntie Audrey is like the, 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 the wind beneath my wings when I talk about the strength of a powerful black businesswoman. Yeah. Auntie Audrey epitomized such, right? And the, 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 all these persons in, in my life helps to make me who I am today. Yeah. That when persons say, oh, you're bright, you're, you, you, I, I would say to them that I just make use of my moments. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about to being bright, right? I am just able to, 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 to sit, I'm able to reason out and I just think logistically and I'll analyze and I'm a good observer and I, then I execute. Yes. Right? So it's not brightness because brightness is just a word. Yes. Right? Being 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 bright, you 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 it, it must be an action. Right? And I'm an action person, right? I I, I deliver. Okay. So when I have a task, I, I I I must be able to to deliver. I am not sure if I'm basically missing anybody, but I must give credence to some teachers in my life. You have like a Marlene, Marlene Murray, who is now the principal of Chorus High School. You have like a Dr. Susan Anderson, who was one of my lecturers at university, right? I'll never forget the good old Dr. Webley, right? At IUC. These are some persons who really encourage me and Persons might not know, but as a candidate who is reading for his PhD wow. in child, adolescent, and youth studies, I must say that uh, I couldn't have been here without a strong foundation. Wow. Why were you hiding that from me, Rashid? <laughs> I can't be doing my power of education story and you're hiding that. You're too humble. No, you're not too humble. I, I like your humility. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very, I'm very, very humble. I know. Um, when I go, when I go back in my community and I sit on the corner, don't serve me. It's rushy. Yes. Yes. Right? Uh, nobody come with this Mr. Morgan thing. No, no, no. It's rushy and it's rushy. Yes. Right? Because at the end of the day, you must be able to connect with your youth. Yeah. You must be able to connect with society. And at times, society don't want somebody within a jacket suit. Yeah. Society wants somebody who wears a short, who, who knows what it feels like to have a wet day, to have a, 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 a tear in the pants, right? Society wants somebody who is a true leader, yeah. right? And that's how I position myself. And that's how I display myself, right? And at the end of the day, I just want to be my best. 
right? Because I'm guided by this mantra. Uh, success is not a destination, it's a journey, yes. right? So I don't believe in stopping. I believe in going on, oh. right? I live my life in, a, in, 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 the, in, the continue, in, in, in the continuous tense, right? I must be able to carry out something. I must be able to accomplish some task, right? Because while I have breath in my mouth, while I have health and strength, I don't want my living here on earth to be in vain. Because if I can help somebody as I go along, then God Almighty knows uh, my, my, my investment, a crown of life shall await me whenever I'm to cross over to be with my Lord. So, so that's how, who Roshin is. I'm not just somebody who is just the education guru. I do find time to, 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 to live my life and to yes. enjoy life to the fullest. Yes. 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 Well, Mr. Morgan, Roshin, it is my greatest privilege to have you on. And I want to thank you tremendously. This has been awesome. I am inspired and I know my geniuses are, and they will be for a very long time. <laughs> I want to thank you for thank you. me with your presence on Reading Unlimited with Kadian. Guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And look in that mirror daily. Hug yourself, be positive, tell yourself you're awesome, you're gorgeous, you're wonderful, mm -hmm. you're super smart. Be kind to yourself, but in so doing, be kind to others. And if you have nothing good to say about people, please say absolutely nothing at all. Have yourselves a great day. Bye. Thank you Bye -bye. for coming, Mr. Morgan. Thank, Thank you very, you. very much for having me. It was wow. my pleasure.